Here we're going to be going through a brief description here on the types of bonds, interest rates on bonds, and bond values. So, so let's just start with our types of bonds here. So you're going to have term bonds. That's where the entire bond matures on a single date. Now we have mortgage bonds. They are secured here by real estate here. Collateral trust bonds. They are secured by the securities of other corporations. A deed of pension bonds are unsecured. The interest payments of the income on the bonds depends on the existence of the operating income of the issuing company. Now collateral bonds, they may be called and retired by the issuer prior to their maturity date. Now the registered bonds are issued in the name of the owner and require the surrender of the certificate in the issuance of a new certificate to complete the sale here. Now bearer or coupon bonds, that is, they're not recorded in the name of the owner and may be transferred to one investor or to another by mere delivery. Now convertible bonds, they be can be converted into other securities of the issuing corporation for a specified time after issuance here. Commodity back bonds, also called asset link bonds, are redeemable in the measures of a commodity. Now deep discount bonds, also called zero interest bonds, are sold at a discount which provides the buyer total interest payoff at the maturity date. Okay, so now let's go and look at interest rates on bonds here, just looking at a brief description here. So we'll start out with the yield rate here. That's the rate of interest actually earned on to the bondholders, and it's a synonymous with the effective or the market interest rate here. The nominal rate, that's the rate set by the party issuing the bonds and are expressed as a percentage of the par value. It's synonymous with the stated interest rate here. Now the stated rate, that's synonymous with the nominal rate that we just spoke of. Now the market rate, that's synonymous with a yield rate or an effective rate on the bond. And the effective rate, that's synonymous with the market rate or the yield rate. So some of these things are repaid just by definition here so you understand the different interest when they refer to different interest rates on the bonds. Okay. Now let's look at bond values, just a brief description now. Starting out with the maturity value, that's the face value of the bonds. That's the amount which is payable upon maturity here. The face value, that's synonymous with the par value and also the maturity value. And the market value, that's the amount realizable, uh, realizable upon the sale of the bond. And the par value, that's synonymous with the maturity or the face value on the bond. So what we've gone through here is just a brief description on the type of bonds, uh, interest rates on bonds, and also bond values.